Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another how-to video about technical stuff. Uh, so this is the issue. Um, I had a file that was considered uh, a bad file on Windows Defender. Windows Defender flagged it as a threat that needs some action, as you can see here. But the thing is, the file was already on the recycling bin when I was uh, doing this, and I cleaned the recycling bin before I went to the Windows Security Defender whatever thing to do actions. So now the file is already deleted from my system, but Windows Defender still thinks that I have the file. And it, if I try to do any of these actions, like quarantine or clean threat or uh, remove, nothing happens. And uh, this stays on the log, which means that the red icon stays here, which is very annoying to keep getting a notification for something that supposedly is no longer an issue. Uh, I know that my computer is safe because I, when I ran this file, this was a DOS file and I ran it under DOSBox. So I know that it's that it's fine, that it didn't contaminate the rest of the computer. Um, so I did delete it. I'm, I want to do a full scan just to make sure. But for the meantime, I want to get rid of this notification. So I Googled it up and I found that you need to get rid of the historic of the lists of the stuff. And to do that, you just need to go to this directory here. Program data, Microsoft, Windows Defender, scans, history, service, uh, and then inside uh, history service, you have these lists of things. I'm going to put this directory on the, um, on the description of the video, so you can go there easily. And it might ask you for permissions. You might need uh, administrator permissions to be able to access this directory. Uh, but once you're here, it should be fine to use. So what you need to do is just delete all of these contents i mean you could go through each one of them and see which one has reference to this thing and which one does not i don't really care about my history so i'm just going to delete everything but if you cared about that you would just delete the main ones and go into that the detection history and check the date of the stuff that you want so order by date modified and you see like the last two ones that it complains about are these two so if i delete these two uh, then supposedly when I reboot the computer, uh, everything is, should be fine and the icon no longer here. If there are any issues, this video will be slightly longer with an addendum to that, but it should be, be fine as it is. Hope the video was useful. See you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care.